Hey, everybody. Hi, Nick. Hey, Lori. My favorite podcast guest. Whoop, whoop. It's been forever since I've seen your face and I miss it. I miss your face too. You need to come up and visit just three hours up the road. I do, but apparently it's like Death Valley up there <laughs> with COVID. So <laughs> it's uh, just a little tiny bit. Like some of us bit. are hiding from humanity. <laughs> but we will, you know, fully vaccinated here, boosted and everything. Boosted. So, yeah. All the good stuff. Yeah, all the good stuff. So today we are going to do a wacky world of wine mm-hmm. episode, and it's been a long time since it's we've been done that. It's been a while that. since we've done a we wacky have, world of wine. We have. The last one we did, I think, was all of the, with that like teenager dude who who's went into the restaurant. Remember? Yes. And that and the, the gal in the Walmart parking Walmart lot. Walmart parking lot. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. How can we forget her? That was She's that. my favorite. Yes, that is true. Well, today we are going to do something a little bit different. And I okay. honestly have no idea how it's going to go. <laughs> um, That's the best part. But, but, you know, I get these wacky ideas in my head. And whenever <laughs> I think of something wacky, you, of course, then follow into my head of this is who I want to do this with, my partner in crime. Absolutely. I am ready for this. What are we doing today? All right. So we are going to play the wine dating game. Ooh, the wine dating game. game. So we, I don't know if we know the dating game. It's probably been redone 50,000 times by now, but right. You have one bachelor or bachelorette that's behind the screen. And we have other, the bachelor or bachelorettes, whatever that are on the other side. And they're going to tell their story. And that one bachelor or bachelorette has to pick the love of their life. Right. So I'm the bachelor. You are the bachelor. You are the. I love it. You I are mean, the it's so, single bachelor. So apropos. <laughs> always, a, always a bridesmaid. <laughs> so what I have on the other side of the screen are wine descriptions. Okay, tasting Ooh. notes, and love these it. are professional tasting notes. I did not write them. So to give all credit due, these are tasting notes that have come from wine enthusiasts. Okay. okay. So the, the, whoever is the proper taster for wine enthusiasts for each of these regions, they are the person that the people who wrote these notes. So in my brain, I have, <laughs> I'm going oh God, to read. Not in your brain. <laughs> it's not a safe place to be. I promise. No. <laughs> Um, in my brain, I have these tasting notes and I'm going to read you these tasting notes. And then you have to pick which one you would want to date. I have a feeling I'm going to get catfished. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, the first, I have four different varieties that we can go, that we're going to go through. Okay. All so right. The first one, I, I started off with Pinot Noir. <laughs> Absolutely no idea why I started off with Pinot Noir, but that's what I started typing into one enthusiast. So, you know, I have a strong Pinot Noir history uh, working in Oregon. So there you go. Show me the goods. All Lori. right, here we go. So up first we have Shows Pinot's dryness and silky texture and proper flavors of raspberries, red currants, cola, spices, and cedar. The next step is to build on complexity. Okay, there is our date number one. I mean, who doesn't like something a little silky and dry? Okay. Kind of like my personality. <laughs> Little cedar in there. Okay. 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 All right. Prospect. Uh, prospector. Prospect. Prospect number Prospect, two. Yeah. Prospect number two. Some multiple people must have tasted this one. Some found sweet store a strawberry, taffy aromas. And another found spice and chocolate. One noted sour fruit and flat wood flavors, while the other noted smoke and raspberry notes. 
a must try? Don't let on, but number two is not getting chosen. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got a good personality. <laughs> yeah, we all have good personalities. <laughs> Must try. A must try. After the first three bottles. <laughs> this is the bottle you bring out when your friends who know nothing about wine. That That's what that tasting description said to me. Okay. All right. We shall see. Okay. Date potential number three. Taste of fresh young primary fruits, such as cherries, raspberries, blackberries, and cola. I didn't know cola was a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry cola. <laughs> and sweet smoky oak stands out. I was going to make an inappropriate joke. <laughs> um, you know I want to <laughs> hear it. <laughs> read the first <laughs> few words again. Taste of fresh, young, primary fruits. Right there. So it sounds, <laughs> right there. Like, it sounds like Miss Maxwell is trying to uh, set me up with this wine. It's an, it's an Epstein wine. <laughs> you, might have to, you might have to cut that. that and jump might <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. okay okay um it sounds interesting uh who doesn't love primary fruit i mean obviously it might get a little complex as it ages um they typically do if you know what i mean hmm. i do i do <laughs> okay <laughs> eight option number four under the pinot noir 2005, so you know the vintage, boasts complex savory aromas and flavors that match the ripe black cherry and plum fruit, peppery herbal notes with smoke, meat, and brown sugar. Crisp acids, crisp acids and concentrated fruit. Ooh, it honestly sounds... French and makes me want to say ooh la la, uh, <laughs> but it could very well be even Oregon. Um, and then I have to have to wonder if it shaves its armpits. Um, so <laughs> that's what that adds a, a little tannins to it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, this is. I sound like such a misogynist today. Um, <laughs> Okay, so it's definitely going to be between one and four. You just read four. It does seem delightful. Can you read one one more time for me? I can. So number one would like to say that it shows Pinot's dryness and silky texture and proper flavors of raspberries, red crowns, cola, spice, and cedar. Mm. No, I am going to have to go with the complexity of number four. All right, and Nick has chosen number four. Number four retails at $27. A fairly inexpensive date, but admirable. Yeah, and you know, it's got crisp acids and mm, concentrated fruit to, <clears throat> to, dry, to make it through the night. And it is from Martinborough. Uh-oh. And it is, and it has meat notes. So it has I meat that, notes and some brown sugar. You can pour some sugar. I on mean, me. brown sugar and meat. I mean, <laughs> I'm all for it. Pour some sugar on me. Um, and it is Palliser Estate, 2005 oh. Pinot Noir. And Nick, you chose 91 points. I mean, it's not 92, but it's not 90. So now very Palliser, funny that you say great job. 
now it's funny that you say 92 points because you did pass up 92 points. Oh, oh no. Who was 92 points? 92 points was date option number three. But and number three will land you in jail. <laughs> that is taste of fresh young primary fruits. It's those primary fruits with that cola yep. and sweet and smoky oak stands out. That, although retail is a 92 pointer, it does retail for a bit of a wallet breaking $75. Ooh, God, I hope it, I hope it stands to age because that's a lot of money. And it is a 2006 Bernardus Rosella's Vineyard Pinot Noir from the Santa Lucia Highlands. Hmm. Never been a fan of Santa Lucia. Oh, I am. I don't think I'd pay 75, but you know what? If I tasted it and those, you know, primary fruits really primary called my name, really you know, yes. Explode on the, explode yes. on the palate. Yes. What you also passed up, Nick, and they are very, very sad to not be going out with you, is number one. Number one retails for $25. Okay. Okay. So this is the, if they were ambitious, is to build in a little bit more complexity. So, you know, she's got some, you know, she's got a path she can go on. She, exactly. And, you know, there's. She, there's she almost had it. She was. She was literally this missed, close. Out. missed by this much. It's exactly you know, um, that is the 2008 Easton Duarte Georgetown oh. Vineyard Pinot Noir from the Sierra Foothills. I was going to say Amador. Yeah. Okay. And Sierra, that yeah. 87 points. Oh, interesting. Right. But, and, but I just want to point out different reviewers across the board. Absolutely. Each one of these would be a different reviewer because they are yep. all coming from different, different regions. regions. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's number two? Got and the... number two. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. Retails for $18. Comes from Monterey County. So cool climate. Yeah. You know? But I'm thinking it's probably like Naomi. It is not Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> it is Montera, 2001 Montera Encore. Uh, it is actually a rosé of Pinot Noir. Oh, see, that's kind of cheating, but that's yeah. Fine. Go ahead. Yeah, a little cheating, a little cheating. But spice and chocolate is a little... Like it doesn't quite go together with the other no. strawberry and, and taffy. Taffy. The, it was the taffy. It just made me think it was going to be that like tutti fruity, just over. Yeah. Produce like concentrated, just fake yeah. sugar. Yeah. Well, it might be because it got 85 points. Mm, yeah. Again, big, big that is always that. the bridesmaid. I am the <laughs> I am the Monterey Pinot Noir of the dating world right now. <laughs> so kudos, and you you chose ninety one and relatively inexpensive, or you know, I, you know, twenty seven dollars for a date night wine is not. That's too an shabby. admirable wine, right? Right. Yep. Absolutely. Doesn't break the bank. It's not sub 15 so hey yeah i'm i'm happy with my choice all right and definitely when you compare that to only one point less of the 92 then, pointer and 75 dollars yeah although you know 100 yeah you know who and i mean and who doesn't it? love yeah who does yeah right. i'm happy all right good choice good choice all right would you like to move to a the second red or would you like to go for a white Ooh, what do you feel like as your second dating let's, opportunity let's, let's let's bounce to a white one okay you know they say a variety is the spice of life and chardonnay comes in oh so many options that is true that you is have true. 
big Chardonnays and little Chardonnays. Big Chardonnay, and then you have some petite big Chardonnay. Chardonnay. <laughs> I'm so going to get in trouble. <laughs> All right. Chardonnay, nay. Okay, here we go. Lively aromas, option number one, lively aromas of gardenia and honeysuckle, soft and enveloping, then cut you by yuzu rind. What the hell is yuzu? It's a, obviously an Asian um, fruit spice. of some sort. Oh, it's a spice? I think okay. so. Okay. I went rind, thought it was a fruit. Okay. Maybe it's a fruit. <laughs> yuzu, Y-U-Z-U. Now, complete sidebar off of the dating game here. Okay, this is when See, the this is when the more. host this is when the host of the dating game comes in and says, "Wait a second, wait a second. Why are you writing yuzu? Oh, what is it? It is a citrus fruit um, and plant of the Rhodocyae of East Asian origin." Nice. So, yeah. I have never tasted it, so I don't know what a yuzu would taste like. So, yeah, but have you ever tasted crushed gravel? Um, sadly, <laughs> well, there might have been a I mean, few times there, where there, I there's a lot out of tasting bike. notes. <laughs> might have been a few times where I've wiped out on a bike and you know, <laughs> had a little pebbles in my mouth. And there is the time that my wonderful brother took pebbles and dunked them in mud and let them dry and told, put them in a milk dud box and told me that they were milk duds. Oh my God. I adore your brother. <laughs> <laughs> like every, everyone in your family is a winner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to have to go out and find Yuzu because I want to know yep. what this is. Okay. So cut by Yuzu rind and Asian pear. Ooh. Palette is framed with chalky tension and a textural platform for generous flavors of Meyer lemon curd, wet rocks, and underripe melon. It almost sounds like a Chablis and it sounds delightful. Right. Now, again, I do wanna point out that some of these writers are much mm -hmm. more eloquent than others. <clears throat> right. So we have to kind of take that into account because some that people can true. really roll the. As a marketer, again, I have created tasting notes that make number two look like number four. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So and some it, it people happens. are much more eloquent at this um, than others. So we that can... made my mouth. It made my mouth water. Yeah. Right. OK, here we go. Date, Chardonnay date number two. Earthy and sawdusty aromas meet soft texture and milky flavors of this light-bodied wine. Now, this person obviously does not deal in the wordsmithing. <laughs> they much. say milky, milky flavors? Milky flavors in this light-bodied wine. Interesting. So... Okay. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> wah, wah. Okay. <laughs> no Again, milky flavors for like me. Number two. Maybe you're a little prejudiced against number two. <laughs> Maybe you should. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't put the worst ones in that spot when you read it. <laughs> okay. Date option number three. The aromas bring notes of flower, green apple, and citrus. Starts out broad, lightens in the middle, and finishes strong. Okay, I like something that comes from, well, no, that was, I was going to say something that comes from behind, but I don't like that. Um, <laughs> but, you know, something that, like, surprises you. Uh, so kind of light, lively, and then all of a sudden, boom, boom. like, it's all up in your face. I'm here um, to kick your butt. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, right? like. Boom. Uh, has sounds like it has personality while still having some um, some of the lighter Chardonnay notes that I prefer versus like that diacetyl heavy tropical. Um, 
So it is a contender with number one so far. Okay. <laughs> and number four. Pleasant nutty quality to the nose alongside aromas of baked lemon, apricot, and white flour. Full bodied, but not overly rich. Mm, I think they're pulling your leg. <laughs> I think it's going to be cougar juice. Um, there is flavors are cut by a pinch of sea salt. I mean, who? I do love that little sea salt saline mm -hmm. note. I mean, we were talking about Albarino oh, earlier. Yes, um, that salinity that that, brings that me salinity in. is just what like mm, wins it for me. But mm, I still don't trust it. Um, I'm going with number one. Number one. So let's see who you will not be dating tonight in the Chardonnay. Please, class, let's start with number we? two. We, of course, will start with number two. Number two, happy camper, Chardonnay. Enough said. Boom. Comes in at a whopping $9. Yum. And give me a point value for this wine. Ooh, I'm going to say 86. Wah, wah. 83. Wah, wah. 78? Not that bad. 82. Oh, ooh. ooh. Just it squeak by, by with a B. E. You don't drink B wine. Nine, <laughs> $9. You know that baby is somewhere on a supermarket shelf, bottom shelf, no, everywhere. It, it is. It is in, um, oh, what's the theme song I'm thinking of right now? Um, Grocery outlet, bargain market. Oh, that's, grocery outlet. Oh. Yeah, that's where that's at right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It may have started on like a Ralph's or Safeway, moved its way down. down. Yeah. You know, I always talk about. <clears throat> it's now in the I outlet. Talk, I talk about how, you know, when you first start getting into wine, that you're, you know, you're on the bottom shelf, you're looking on that bottom shelf. And then as you kind of develop a little bit more of a palate, you, you start to stand up on that grocery shelf, you know, yeah. you get to the top shelf of the grocery <laughs> shelf. Well, this has gone the opposite. This started, went down and is like now in. It was like know, shoots and ladders. It yeah. Was like <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, sorry. Number two. <laughs> Sorry, happy camper. Apparently, no longer a happy, happy camper. camper. <laughs> bom, bom. Okay, date number three is the aromas bring notes of flower, green apple, citrus. Okay, that one. This was a contender. Finishes strong. Yeah. Comes in at a fifteen dollar price tag. Okay. From Washington, it is Corviday. Mirth Chardonnay, the 2019 Corviday Mirth Chardonnay. Okay. We're in Washington, Yakima Valley. Washington. Washington, just a state appellate. Got just it. Just a state appellation. All right. And now, Nick, you have passed okay. up. Oh, yes. Who did I pass up with number four? You have passed up Pisoni. 2019 oh. Estate Chardonnay. Again, you are being consistent. You do not like the Santa Lucia Highlands. <laughs> At a $85 price tag and yeah. 93 points. That's great. 93 points. Baked apricot, cut of sea salt. Apricot. It was the baked notes. It was the baked and nutty notes baked that lemon. just... Baked lemon, you know, but the the nuttiness kind of like, you know, kind of sh champagne esque. I, you know, maybe a, you know that lees gives that nuttiness. So it it depends on how much there is of it. You know. You know, it sounded like a lot of nut. <laughs> okay. Sounds like okay. Lord help me. I'll give you that. All right. But yeah, it is, it is interesting. Baked lemon, baked apricot. Um, Which baked? I, but 
Intriguing. Intriguing. Sure. I'll, I'll yeah. give it intriguing. Intriguing. Uh, but at that price point, no thanks. All right. Would you like to know who you are going out on your date with tonight? Yes, in please, Lori. So once yeah. again, lively aromas of gardenia and honeysuckle, soft, enveloping, and then cut by that yuzu ride in Asian pear flesh, chalky tension, textural platform, and generous flavors of Meyer lemon curd, wet rocks, and underripe lemon. You, Nick, are going out with the 2019 Sanford Founders Vines, Sanford and Benedict Vineyard Chardonnay from the Santa Rita Hills. Uh -oh. Coming in at $72. Uh, you know, I, I, I would pay that. Yeah, all right. And what would your what is your dates rating? Ninety four. You did better, my friend. Ninety six. Meet you in the middle. Ninety five points. Ninety five points. You chose wisely. You chose wisely. You know, I I just have a good palate. <laughs> and Matt Ketman writes a exceptionally well <laughs> right i mean like his words whew. drooling drooling yeah drooling. literally i was like oh my god this sounds absolutely <laughs> amazing sound good and i would pay 72 dollars to to try yeah. that off of those yeah, tasting absolutely all right nick round number three dun, 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 dun. red or dun, dun, white dun, dun, dun. i mean there should be like a, a little theme like song a little music oh, if you wouldn't will. that be fun i'll put one in next and when time. i edit next time <laughs> next time i did redo our little wacky world of wine emblem logo oh, i did do that love that yes all right you want white or red we're gonna oh, bounce back to the reds back to the red all right so for our first round or our first dating dating wine dating game, I have felt oh. Cabernet Sauvignon was was kind of an appropriate one. It's the king. It's the king of wine. It is. Thanks to my beloved Cabernet Franc. But yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Date option number one. Mm. Aromas of grilled meat. Salt and pepper give this full-bodied wine a big personality. Moderately tannic, but adequately filled in with cherry and black plum. I'm not frozen. I'm just thinking. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I like the say. I like savory cab kind of that meaty note um but the fact that he just has like plum and you said cherry black plum black plum and cherry yeah adequately I mean, filled in with black plum and cherry yeah he sounds like a big boy um which there's nothing wrong with that um i'm not body shaming this wine but i'm going to <laughs> Uh, I'm curious to hear about how horrible number two is again. Okay. Date option number two. <laughs> Both concentrated and well-balanced, this full-bodied wine shows purity of black fruit flavors that aren't disrupted by over-oaking. Delicious notes of black currant and black cherry dominate the aroma and follow through to the palate. It sounds good, but then the aromas and the flavors just seem simple because it's there's only like two. Again, don't know who wrote this, so not yet. Right, but you would think that, oh, no, they had, th yeah. there were more than two, right? Um, black currant and black cherry dominate. That's it. Black fruit, okay. just all black fruit. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's nice that it sounds balanced. I mean, I've dated some crazies, so something a little balanced <laughs> it is, balanced. is nice. It is balanced. Um, 
You're not going to be out there walking on the edge with this. Yeah, you know, no. You're not going to. Um, let's let's hear about number three. Okay. Number three. Notes of iron. Crushed rock. Juicy red fruit and clove. Uh, there's other varieties in it. Um, with black pepper and nuanced oak. Uh-uh. No, I mean, I like the, the iron, but again, it seems, it seems weirdly simple. Okay. So, so to, to not be so anti, you know, whatever that it, what it says is very small amounts of Merlot, Malbec, St. Macaire and Cabernet Franc. Okay. Okay. Got and it. And then black pepper and nuanced oak. Okay. Okay. Let's hear four. And date option number four. The wine represents um, value and price. Okay. <laughs> Small amounts of supporting varieties. Grilled meat flavor, velvety plushness to the texture and balanced tannins, dark baked fruits, adding richness. And that sounds just like a Washington cab. Um, hmm. Can you read number one again? Number There's the meat one. with the salt and pepper. <laughs> yes, that is aromas of grilled meat, salt and pepper, full bodied wine, Brash personality. Uh, moderately oh, it says tannic. brash. Per- it says brash personality. Yes. Okay. Moderately tannic, but adequately filled in by cherry and black plum flavors. Okay. Sorry. And read number two again, please. Concentrated and well balanced, full bodied, purity of black fruit flavors. Not you know disrupted what? by order. We're just going to go. We're going to go with number two. Uh, uh, you you know just what? felt Matt. bad. You just felt bad that you dissed number two on round you one. Know, quite, two. quite honestly, it was. And none of them seemed super appealing. Okay. Um, sorry, Cab. But it was the well balanced, which is always key for me. It was the purity of the fruit which I like without, because I don't like shit being covered up by oak. Um, so yeah, I think it was, and then the others just seemed simple. I, I don't okay. know what it was, but yeah, number okay. two just, yeah, sounded the best. Okay. Um, is that all four? Oh, I actually yeah. have, I have a bonus date for you in this what? round. What? I have a bonus date for you. Oh my God, mind blown. Okay. Um, Go ahead, number five. Wait, no, no, wait, no, hold on. One, two, three, four. <laughs> no, I don't. Never mind. No, I don't. I lied. Okay. So See, you I chose... was <laughs> you, you were Catholic. Just by Lori. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, all right. So you chose date number two. Would you like yeah. to know who you're going out with? Or would you like to know who you passed up first? Ooh, let's, this time let's figure out who I'm going out with. Okay. Oh, shit. You are going out with the 2019 Josh Sellers. Who wrote that tasting note? (laughs) No offense, Josh Sellers. Um, But... Who wrote that tasting note? I am. I. I feel like I was just bamboozled. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you want to live. <laughs> Would you wow. like to know who oh. you passed up? Yeah, who's number one? Because that was gonna be my second. Oh God, here, here it goes. I'm just, by the way, how, how many points was the Josh? 91. You know, <laughs> you can. At $17. 
It, it's it is kind a of good like, value. It's, a, it's a slutty prom queen. <laughs> That's why you or, see or it prom on king. a prom queen. That is why you see it on every wine list on the face of the earth. Yeah. It's because of that price. And it's a good one. It, it, there's nothing flawed ever in that wine because it's. Well, it's a recipe. Right. It's always the same wine, vintage after vintage. So. Yeah. Okay. Now, your second, your runner up date. Kirkland Signature 2019. Okay. I, I would actually, I'm okay with that. 88 go. points. Oh, wow. Really? 86? 86 points. <clears throat> 86 points. But you are getting three liters for $13. Hell yeah, I am. Like Heck I said, yeah, it's a man, big that's- boy. They lying down on the back, ready to go, man. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> there's there's uh, your problem. There's your problem. You know, I would say that a lot of Kirk, a lot of Kirkland brand wine, <clears throat> I don't mind. There, you know what? We need to do an episode on Kirkland wine because th- there are some that are sink worthy. There really are yeah. some that are sink worthy. But yeah. there are some that are actually really, really stellar wines. The the Rioja, I absolutely love that Rioja. You know, um, so that that's an that's another episode, um, a future episode because there really is some good value in a lot of those Kirkmans because you know all they're doing is they're buying juice from reputable from other producers. Yeah, right. the Malbec, I, I don't mind as well. Um, can we actually do it, but blind taste Michael on them? Yes, that would be funny. My Michael? I mean, no, 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 no. Oh, um, now I have to edit it out. Kelly. Yes, Michael Kelly. Yeah, Michael Kelly. That would be fun. We could ask Michael if he would, because, you know, he... He would say no. That's why we have to blind taste the wine. <laughs> it would be interesting to do a blind tasting of, like, you know, a non-Kirkland and a Kirkland. Yeah. And see, you know, like a Rioja and a Rioja. Now I know there's lots of, sure. you know, but... I mean, neither one is my boyfriend, Josh, but... Um... Josh... Josh is waiting for you. Would you like yes. to know who else you missed out on? Yes, please. Number four represents the tremendous value for the price. Case production mixed with small amounts of supporting varieties, smoky and grilled meat flavors, velvety plushness. Okay. 90 points, $25. Okay. Oberon, 2018, Napa Valley. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was number three. That was number. That was date number four. That was. Four. Oh, that was date number four. Number three. Ninety-seven points. Oh. The iron and crushed rock, juicy red fruit and clove, that yep. you passed out on, passed up on, with a blend of Merlot, Malbec, Saint Marquier, and Cabernet Franc. Uh huh. 97 points, $75. O'Shaughnessy, 2018. Interesting. Cabernet Sauvignon. Interesting. Right. There just doesn't seem to be a lot of fruit in that. No. You get a lot. You get the baking spice of the clove, you get crushed rock, and you get iron. Right. Yeah. And the grilled meat. There's actually, oh, in, the, meat. in the entire thing, there's... No actual One. fruit. There's yeah. It says baked fruit, but yeah. And what and what vintage is that? 2018. Seems like it should have a little bit more fruit for an 18. Yeah. But um, you know, I'm not that reviewer, so so be it. All I'm right. happy with my boy Josh. All right, you and Josh gonna have a good time tonight. So, <laughs> all right. For round number four, I went a little off, little off the typical, and I went with Pinot Grigio. Okay. Because Pinot now, Grigio. Wait, are are you including really... Pinot Gris in there, or is it all Pinot Grigio? There, it, it is Pinot Gris. Oh, okay. Um, 
Because if it's all just Italian flunk, um, I'm going to be very upset. And somehow I must have been tired or drunk when I was doing this because there's a Sauvignon Blanc in there. <laughs> so we'll. <laughs> I'm going to go with tired and drunk. Um, probably. Probably. <laughs> okay. So it is actually um, Pinot Gris. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so. Option number one, purity, intensity. Well, you know what? We're going to do this double thing. We're going to say, do can you tell me which one is Sauvignon Blanc? Okay. And then... Based on you looking at your paper, can you tell me which one is yeah, Sauvignon Blanc? Yeah, I can. Blanc? I can. But there's the reason why it's under Pinot, Pinot Gris, even though it's a Sauvignon Blanc, is because there's Pinot Grigio in it. Oh, okay. Got okay, it. so it's okay. it's a blend. Okay, all right. So first, you got to tell me which one is the Sauvignon Blanc, and then we okay. can tell me which one is your date. Okay. Okay. All right. So up number one is purity, intensity, and sweetness are evident with just one whiff of this wine. Aromas carry touches of blossom, earth, and candied tangerine zest. The palate confirms these impressions with its concentrated, luscious body, tingling acid, and encompassing sweetness. I don't know, tingling acid is enough for me. I mean, it has me tingling a few places. Right? That's my a tongue. hell of a Lori, writer. My right? Tongue. <laughs> right? That's a hell of a writer right there. You know, I like the candied, you know, uh, tangerine or whatever that was. Tangerine zest. Candied yeah, tangerine Yeah, candied tangerine zest. zest. Oh, it's, no, it it's sounds real. It, it sounds it sounds mouthwatering. I hope it's not cloying in any way because they talk about the sweetness. Sweetness, but it sounds it sounds delightful, like on a hot summer day. Yeah, it's encompassing sweetness. So I'm thinking that the it's probably sweet, but the acidity is so well balanced. You know, is high enough. Yeah, complementing. It plays well off of. Okay. Right. Okay. Date number two. Produced from 30-year-old vineyards. Mm. Characteristic minerality underscores tight fruit flavors of white peach, lemon, and apple. Concise, almost chiseled wine with the stuffing to age nicely. It sounds like the Sauvignon Blanc, but um, okay. It okay. It sounds good. I like I like a little chiseledness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice little chiseled. And you know, thirty year old vines ain't gonna get you in trouble if you oh. know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I was gonna say something and it went out of my head. I was thinking of the thing about under eighteen legal, but whatever. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Date number three, floral in jasmine and orange blossom, strong aromatics, straightforward palette of melon and apple with moderate acidity. Sounds kind of boring. <laughs> and- Sounds I'm like something you're like, Aunt Lola would drink. <laughs> That's the stuff that you bring out again when it's a hot summer day. Everybody's at the pool. Having That's a party, what it sounds like. Yeah. Not paying attention to what they're drinking and they're just dousing the cups. There's doubt. Yeah. Yeah. You mix that with Sprite. Go ahead. Yeah. Might improve it. Okay. And option number four tawny gold in color uh, belies the youth of the wine. Full-bodied, chewy, and tannic, potent wine with an assortment of herb, citrus, and tree fruit. Fruit elements all in a pleasing tangle. I mean, I, I, I like being tangled up, um, but tawny in color, so brown. But it's young, uh, right? It's young. Yeah, it belies the youth of this wine. Oh yeah. Um, unless it was just made in an oxidative style, that's very strange to me. Um, 
Yeah, okay, so my guess was going to be two is Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, I could be wrong. It could be three, but my guess is number two. And my, even though it's probably not, um, number one sounds like it's from Alsace. And so, and it just made my mouth water. So I'm going to go with number one. Okay. Well, kudos because number one is from Alsace. Okay. But you were wrong on which was Sauvignon Blanc. Number four was Sauvignon Blanc. Ooh. So the Sauvignon Blanc was floral in jasmine and orange blossom. It has Pinot Grigio in it, strong aromatics um, with a simple, straightforward palette of melon and apple, moderate. And it's brown. <clears throat> no, 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 that's not the brown one. What, oh. The number, th number, uh, the, the, the fourth one was, fourth one was, that was three. Brown. The fourth one is brown. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. So that one, the floral and jasmine, the Sauvignon Blanc comes from yeah. Sonoma County, 2019 fifth note Sauvignon Blanc. Retails, okay. retails for $24. Okay. And what Admirable. would you point point wise? What would you guess that is? 89. Higher or lower? Yeah, okay. I was being nice with 89. Let's go 85. Four. <laughs> 84. <sighs> yeah, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. That does hurt. Yikes. Okay. The Tawny Gold one, okay, uh, is actually a 2019 from Dundee Hills. Okay, so it's the Erie Vineyards 2019 Estate Pinot Gris. It is actually number four for wine enthusiasts top 100. Was it done in like an orange wine style? It doesn't, it doesn't say, it doesn't okay. say, but maybe, Interesting. um, $21 uh -huh. and 93 points. I mean, I like their wines. Um, so that's interesting. Okay. Okay. And then the last option that you did not choose for your Pinot Gris date tonight is the 30 year old vineyards. Yeah. Okay. From Willamette Valley. Okay. Lady Hill 2020 Bellevue Cross Vineyard. Hmm. $24. Okay. And what do you think that score was? This is the Probably. fruit flavors of white peach, lemon, and apple, concise, 92. chiseled wine, 91. Yeah. 91. Sounds about right. And would you like to know who you're going home with tonight? Yes, because I know that they're French. <laughs> Purity, intensity, sweetness, evident with just one whiff of this wine. Mm -hmm. Aromas carry touches of blossom, earth, and candied tangerine zest. Palette confirms these impressions so with its concentrated, luscious body, tingling acid, and encompassing sweetness. It is a 2018 Kierenborg SAS. So Selection de Grains no Nobles Schlossberg Grand Cru Pinot Gris. 96 points. 96 points. I win. $66. I would pay it. It sounds incredible it's yeah incredible. The, uh, pinot gris from alsace is just yeah, out of this world delicious yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah. That's, mean, that's where, where the noble grapes yep that's where you want to go if you're going to be doing that if you want to be drinking yep. that yeah absolutely and it's so i'm like you said i mean there's that sweetness but just perfectly balanced with that that racy kind of acid yeah. yep yes please yum 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 Yay. All right. Well, that is our dating game. Bum, 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 bum. I was trying to think. I mean, I went the... from 
what 90 well I think all my dates were in the 90s except for number two right yes yes I believe so so you didn't do you didn't do poorly you chose wisely I, I chose wisely you chose wisely um so let if we let's see your we started off with Pinot Noir and yep. you picked you picked the Palazar correct from Martinborough yeah. yep so that was a 91 yep. 91 points the Cabernet Sauvignon was Josh 91, was 91. Okay. The Chardonnay, um, you chose the Pisoni, correct? Did you choose the Pisoni? The No, I did not choose the Pisoni. Oh, no, you, the Sanford, the Sanford yeah. uh, founders, 95 points. That doesn't. What? Sound- no. Which one is in the 80s? Oh, did you choose the Happy Camper? No, God, oh, no, no. You, okay, so the very last one that we didn't say, you chose the Corvidae 2019 Mirth Chardonnay yes. from Washington. Yes. That was 88 points. 88, okay. okay. And then the 96 points. So overall, you, you chose very, very wisely for a point system. Yeah, for, I mean, and points aren't everything, but I mean, when it comes to dating, they kind of matter. You know. The, the measurements matter. Exactly. <laughs> not body shaming. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Not at all body shaming. But, you know, sometimes things matter. Size, Size does, does matter. matter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our first dating game. Why? I love it. Okay. So what do you think we do it again in a little bit, but we reverse it. You have to, I have to be the bachelorette. Oh, absolutely. And we'll do, I can do this. All right. Cause I think this is pretty damn funny. <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun. I don't know if people listening are going to think it's funny, but I think it's, pretty I funny. found it hilarious. <laughs> so that's really all that matters when it comes down to it. It, it is very true. <laughs> we, we, we crack ourselves up. <laughs> we do. We do. Because somebody's got to do it. So we do. Exactly. Might Absolutely. as well be us. So before we sign off, you want to tell everybody where they can find you on sure. social media? Uh, so my name is Nick, but I am go by Wine Calm Guy. That's Wine, C-O-M-M, Guy. Uh, mainly on uh, Instagram. You can also find me on Twitter, uh, Facebook, etc. cetera. But um, yeah, Wine Calm Guy. Awesome. Awesome. And how about you, Lori? Why don't you tell everybody about you? <laughs> well, I can be found everywhere under Exploring the Wine Glass and also under Dracina Wines. And Nick, I don't know, did you see the news on Friday about Dracina Wines? I believe you received, dun, 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 hold on, a gold medal from the San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition. We did. We Woo! did. Yay! Congratulations. Thank you. So not only do you produce award-winning wines, you also produce an award-winning podcast. So basically, like, you are the belle of the ball. And my award-winning blog. And you're exactly an (laughs) award-winning blog. I mean, I choose Lori. She's my date. (laughs) And I will bring that Alsace wine. (laughs) Beautiful. Because of all of those wines, that's the one that really that's the number one. That's, that's the one that I want. That's the number one. Maybe we'll do that the next time. Of the four that were chosen, <laughs> which right? one do you really, really, really want to take home with you? I know which one. <laughs> His name is Jacques. He's from Alsace. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. He's like an amuse bouche. He amuses my mouth. He amuses my. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, Nick. It was so awesome to see yep. your face and to see your thank smiling you. face. I miss you, miss you so much. Miss um, you as well. Thank you for having me. I super enjoyed myself. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad that, you know, these wacky things that pop in my head, that <laughs> you at least appreciate them if nobody 100%. else does. <laughs> <laughs> 
right. Well, you have a good night and Thank I will you. talk to you soon and you take care of yourself. Okay. I will definitely do that. Talk right. to you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.